To use the features described in this video, you will need to use EverWeb 4.4 or higher for Mac OS or Windows. EverWeb's container feature is a powerful design tool, especially when used in responsive web design. So powerful in fact, that we added it to EverWeb's toolbar. As the name suggests, containers are designed for you to put objects inside them, and are ideal for using in responsive website design. In this video, we will give you an overview on EverWeb's container feature, by using them in the construction of this design, which is being used to sell sneakers online. This video has lots of information in it, so if you are following along, you might want to pause the video, or re-watch some of the segments again, before continuing to the next segment. In this example we are using a responsive page layout, which is recommended when using containers. To add a container to your site, simply click on the containers icon in the toolbar. There are three types of container that you can add. Row, column, and free flow. Notice that the responsive row widget is also listed, as this is another form of container that you can add to your responsive website design. Containers can be added into a responsive row widget, and you can also nest containers inside each other. In this example, we will first add a responsive row widget to the page. We will then place containers inside the responsive row, so that they will wrap properly on any device. Click on the responsive row menu item. A responsive row will be added to the page. We will now add a background color to the container, using the color fill option in the shape options tab. This will make it easier to follow the design of our container. We will also add a top and bottom margin to the responsive row, using the metrics inspector. After styling the responsive row, we can now add containers within it. You can do this in one of four ways. You can either click on the plus button inside the responsive row. Click on the plus button in the object label toolbar. Use the container row menu option in the toolbar. Or right click, then choose the add to responsive row menu option to add a container row. Next, we are going to add the other two container types inside the responsive row widget in the same way as we have just done for the container row. Right or secondary click in the responsive row. Choose the option add to responsive row, then add a container column. Once the container has been added, click again on the responsive row, then right or secondary click again to add in the free flow container. Let's add a background color to each of these containers. We can add margins as well. In this example, I am going to set a margin of 10 pixels around all the sides of the container column. In this example, I will use the free flow container to organize my content properly. Click on the container, container free flow. Rename it as sneaker1 by clicking on the settings cog in the object label toolbar. Choose the name option, then change the name to sneaker1. Click on OK to finish. The object name will change. Now go to the metrics inspector and set the width of the container to 320 pixels. We are using this value so that our design will fit properly on all devices, including mobile phones. You may find that this value changes when you add objects into the container, so be sure to check every so often that the sneaker 1 container remains at 320 pixels wide. If it does not, adjust accordingly. I want to add a color background behind the image, so I am going to drag and drop the container row object into the sneaker 1 container. Use either the move icon to do this, or right-click on the container row and choose the embed in option. Select sneaker 1. Extend the containers downwards. Name the container, background color. Now I am going to add an image into the color background container. Before I do this, I need to change the container type. It is currently set as container row, but I need to make it a container column. Click on the settings cog in the background color container. 
Choose layout. Row is currently checked, so change this to column. I can now add my image inside the background color container. Either use the plus button inside the container, or the one in the object label toolbar. A placeholder image will appear inside the container. Go to the Shape Options tab in the Inspector window and click on the Choose button. Select the sneaker image you want to use. Resize the image if you want to. Also add a bottom margin of 10 to the image, using the Metrics Inspector. Now I want to add a text box title into the color background container. Select the color background container again. Right or secondary click inside the color background container. Go to the add to color background menu item, then select text box. Add in the title text, then style it as desired. Drag and drop the text box so that it is above the image. Set a bottom margin for the text box of 10. We are now going to add some descriptive text below the image, as well as a button. Start by drag and dropping the container column object into the background color container using the move icon. Alternatively select the container then right click and use the embed in option. Name the container as product description. Now add a text box inside it and style as desired. Next, we can add the button. Make sure the product description container is selected. Next, use the plus button in the object label toolbar to add a rectangle shape to use for the button. Style as desired. Resize the containers to achieve the look that you want. For the outer, sneaker 1 container, I am going to add a margin of 10 to each side, so that it looks better within the responsive row widget. I have now completed my design. I can duplicate this design for the other sneakers I am selling. Click on the sneaker 1 container, then copy and paste it twice, so that you have three containers in the responsive row. Change the images and container names as appropriate. Preview before publishing to test.